There were mixed emotions in Waukesha, Wisconsin, as the town held its Christmas parade. It's the first since the deadly attack that killed six people last year. It was a bittersweet return for those who lived through the grief and agony of that tragedy. Six people were killed when Daryl Brooks drove his SUV through the parade route last year. More than 60 others were injured. Those who showed up yesterday said they wanted to show what it means to be Waukesha strong. We got separated a little bit. There's kids crying and like didn't know what was going on. So we weren't sure if we were going to make it this year, but we had to. We wanted to show our support for the community as a whole um, and, and come out. So it, it, it just seemed like the right thing to do. One of the big things is we've had more people reach out wanting to be in the parade than we have ever had. You can't move past completely, but it will be that marker, I think, for me personally and a lot of others to uh, get this done and get it done well. Eighty groups were part of this year's parade with dozens of volunteers.